I thought it might be a good idea to start with something that's greatly contributing to a misunderstanding of climate change, and that is the mainstream media's tendency to put so much emphasis on historic highs and lows. I know you and I have talked about how important it is to look at patterns rather than any single measurement, even if that measurement is a historic snow or rainfall or temperature high or low. And also, uh, global averages don't really mean anything because it's not as if the entire world is experiencing some shared average. So maybe we could start with why patterns are more informative than peaks, lows, and averages. Yeah, we we do tend to focus on specific events, and that's just one of the ways that our our mind sort of tends to tends to work. You know, a high temperature, a particularly high temperature, as we saw here in the Pacific Northwest a couple of weeks ago, or an intensive precipitation event as they've just been having in Germany, uh, a hot year measured in terms of average global uh, temperature. We get caught up in, in whether we have hit a record or whether last year was a little bit warmer or a little bit cooler than this year. And we're, we're constantly focusing on those individual uh, events rather than understanding that, that none of that really matters in the context of the larger trend associated with climate change. Because you know what we're seeing now, and even the records that we're seeing now, will seem like the good old days in 2050, when you know temperatures and precipitation extremes will be significantly worse than they are uh, today. And you know, I'd like to think that if we, if we focused more on the trends and thought more about the larger picture, we would be more actively tackling the problem. 